All right, we have the latest news coming in right now from the state of Uttar Pradesh. The counting has stopped. There has been two objections to both the votes of Om Prakash Rajpar. The counting process has stopped because the Samajwadi Party has requested the commission not to extend the counting further until both the objections are resolved. One objection is from Om Prakash Rajbhar that how his MLA Jagdish Rai cast his vote without showing. It should be investigated. The second objection raised by the Samajwadi Party is that how the vote of MLA Dudram was cast with someone's help. BJP is now demanding that counting should be stopped till the vote is decided. Viewers, to get you a little perspective, the rules of counting where Rajya Sabha is concerned, it's open ballot where and only with the violet ink do the candidates, uh, do the MLAs cast their ballot and they have to show the vote to an assigned party agent, a polling agent by his own political party and then cast his vote. Uh, Akhilesh, my, uh, my colleague Abhishek is now joining me live with the latest coming in. Abhishek, what's the latest uh, counting has been stalled for what reasons? Well, certainly, Preeti, the counting has been on kept on hold for a while with the fact that how there is a, a you know, complaint uh, and, uh, by the Samajwadi Party and also one by Rajpar. There are two objections. One objection is from O.P. Rajpar and he is saying that how his MLA Jagdish Rai has cast his vote without showing it to the AG. That is one uh, argument. The second is about from the Samajwadi Party of, of the MLA Dudhi Ram, uh, where he said that he has kept, uh, he's cast his vote with someone's, someone's help. So that is the two objections which are now being uh, uh, solved. Uh, right now, there, uh, the counting is on hold for now, uh, but uh, we are expecting that it will resume soon. And as soon as it resumes, then we'll, we'll uh, get to know further that how is the development happening. You know, but Abhishek, but right now it does seem that the, the Samajwadi numbers, Party has team. practically conceded defeat in terms of numbers tell us because what we have been given to understand, seven Samajwadi Party MLAs have cross-voted. One has abstained. That brings the count to eight. And nine number is added because a BSP MLA has now voted in favor of the BJP. How many numbers did the BJP need to snag that one seat from the Samajwadi Party? Well, Preeti, uh, this is very uh, right for the BJP at the moment because they were running short of eight votes. Technically, seven they have got the cross vote from Samajwadi Party. One is absent, so that will also benefit BJP because the total count will get down. And another vote of the BSP MLA, uh, Uma Shankar Singh, so that will also be added. So, technically, it becomes eight, and again, the total count has gone down for the BJP. So, in uh, clearly a very uh, you know clean victory, very easy uh, victory for the BJP for the eighth candidate, and we are also expecting that in terms of numbers, they will not uh, shortfall of any uh, in any situation. That is the only reason that from the afternoon itself, when Akhilesh Yadav spoke, uh, he got the realization that there is no mm -hmm. chance now that uh, the third candidate will go further. Okay. We are also getting to know that Alok Ranjan could be that person because he was on the number third priority. Right. So the other two candidates of the Samajwadi party are comfortably going to the upper house. All right, so Sanjay Seth from the BJP, uh, who is a former Samajwadi party does. leader, now will make it to the Rajya Sabha and what Abhishek tells us at the cost of Alok Ranjan, who was a retired IAS personnel, who was uh, put forth as a candidate by the Samajwadi party. So Jaya Bachchan as well as Ramji Lal Suman in all probability will make to the house, which is one less than the Samajwadi party had expected.